even before this extraordinary time, the majority of Well, good morning. It's a cold, snowy day here in Colorado. I decided not to go into work today, so that means I get to work at home. And uh, the situation at home here is my wife is a school teacher, so she does, uh, I call it remote learning, electronic learning, distance learning, virtual learning. So since she's a teacher, we have set her up in our camper so she can teach class from there um, and we have three kiddos that are in the house doing distance learning themselves so she's in quite a situation and I work full-time so I'm trying to go to work every day and she's trying to go to work every day and then she's also having to teach our kids. So shout out to teachers right now. And of course, any moms, dads, uncles, aunts, um, grandparents especially, that are helping out with this distance learning. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting time for everyone having to learn how to do things digitally at home. So anyway, since I'm not working today, I'm going to help out here and uh, start by shoveling the snow and getting the furnace running in our mobile classroom. So come along with me on this uh, work at home adventure. <laughs> Gotta find our way to the garage. There we go. That's out of work. Ooh, might be a good day for ice fishing. Yeah, so how, how it works at our house lately, um, at least over the past week since the kids' school started, we were on spring break the week before. So um, this last week, my wife has been having to start her class at like seven, 7.15 I think and then my three kids have to start their class somewhere closer to 8 or 8.15 8 and uh, what's really neat since I can't be around all the time to help my kids with their school it's cool that my in-laws live across the street so they come over and help my kids with their classes and uh, especially my oldest boy Brad has autism so I can imagine teaching his class or helping him with the online learning it's probably a bit more of a challenge but my mother-in-law is she's an experienced teacher retired teacher and it's we're so grateful that she's able to help work with him and then my father-in-law is a retired contractor and my daughter kind of struggles with math, so he's he's really good with the math equations and figuring out things from his years of contracting. So he's able to kind of mentor or tutor my daughter through her classes. And then my youngest, Grandma and Grandpa, kind of help him out too when he needs. Um, so it's kind of neat that we're able to well, this is how we're managing this whole situation with the um, social distancing and things. Anyway, I better get this shovel running because school is going to start here pretty soon. And that camper better be warm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll get the shovel in and we'll be back with this uh, virtual day off episode.
Okay, well, welcome to Mrs. S's second and third grade classroom for uh, electronic learning. So she comes out here to do her live lessons where she's got the lumbar support there in her office chair. And uh, this here is a little camera she connects to her computer to uh, show documents as she's teaching. And right now it's pretty cold in here, so we gotta get this thing going. Warm it up in here. We want it warm enough that you feel like you're here. <laughs> so anyway, this is my wife's classroom until the virus is done and we can all go back to work. Uh, I do have a heater vent behind this door, so we we'll open that. And we'll help heat it to the 90 degrees or whatever she likes. So we got that much done. Now we need to shovel a path for grandma and grandpa so they can make it to the front door. Okay, so we just shoveled out teacher's aids. So we'll be able to walk across the street. Okay, so we got grandma and grandpa shoveled out so they can come over around eight. Got Mrs. S shoveled out. I think she's in her classroom now. Uh, one of our major goals today is to fill up the propane tanks in Mrs. S's classroom. Because so I think I didn't fill them after our camping season last year. But anyway, I don't like to shovel a lot of spring snow because it's heavy. So this time of year I just do little pathways. And I just remembered our other big task we gotta do today is get the trash can out to the street because it's trash day. And then I think after that it's dishes, laundry, <laughs> everything that's not getting done because uh, this online learning has pretty much consumed my wife as a teacher and uh, my kids, I think, they actually get to be done with school at some point today. So Brian, how does this uh, e-learning school day go, typically? So, Faith and Brad, they start school at 9. I start school at 10. And Grandma helps Faith. I mean, Grandma helps Brad. Uh, Grandpa helps Faith. And Mom gets done with lessons, like, sometime during the time we have lessons, but basically every single one of our classes are 45 minutes, and we get like a one hour lunch break. All right. So mom's out in Mallard Studios right now? Yeah. <laughs> so somebody is gonna get to uh, do a TP run pretty soon, probably. That's what I'm guessing. What do you think, Teddy? Mission complete. We got our propane for the uh, Mallard classroom. Now we can continue heating the online school in the backyard. So it's interesting how this is all panning out for the virtual jobs and uh, yeah I should do a shout out too for the medical people the snowplow guys um, all the essential workers right now that are out keeping it running um, it's, it's kind of tough right now mentally physically 
but being in America, we'll find a way, we'll get it done. So, um, hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, time to go in and have some coffee and warm up a bit after I take the trash out. And then if anything more exciting happens today, I'll make sure to film that too. So in the meantime, I'll be probably working on a video of the kayak tour if I haven't already released it. <laughs> Been a crazy week. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.